Hey there YouTube, Harvin69 here. Yep, today I've got something a little bit special for you. It is indeed Microsoft Xbox launch day and yes, mine has arrived in the post and I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you today and we're going to take a look at what you actually get inside the box. So, without wasting any time, let's get on with it. So, this is my Xbox Series X that just arrived in the post this afternoon. So, we'll take a quick look at the specs. As we can see on the side of the box, it says 4K gaming at up to 120 frames a second and up to 8K high dynamic range. We've got Xbox Velocity Architecture, which I honestly have no clue what that's about. I do need to look that up. Um, comes with a one terabyte solid state drive, although you don't get access to the full one terabyte due to the OS being installed on there. We also have variable refresh rate and it comes with a 4K Blu-ray player. So on the back of the box, we can see we've got Master Chief with the slogan of power your dreams. There's some bump on the bottom, but ultimately this is advertising Game Pass with access to hundreds of games, high quality games, um, which does require a membership. Something, if you have an Xbox Series X, I would recommend, it is awesome. So anyway, let's get into unboxing. So here we are, about to unbox the Xbox Series X. Now I've split the seals on mine, but I haven't opened it, so it's gonna be the first time that I've seen it as well. Let's open it up and take a look inside. There we are, very, very nice. So we've got the Xbox Series X console here, and at the back we've got presumably what are the peripherals. So what we'll do is we'll lift things out one by one and have a look. So we'll start by lifting the console out, which is really well packaged in there and actually quite weighty. So there is the actual console in its nice wrapping. Um, underneath that we have a card showing you how to put the batteries in the Xbox controller, um, some information on that, download the app, basic instruction bump, put that to one side, um, nothing else in here. So what's inside the top part? Right, so we've got the mains adapter, um, we have the Microsoft high speed, ultra high speed, sorry, HDMI cable, um, some more instructions, And lastly, I'm going to guess the controller. Yep. So we will tear the tape on that. Whoops. And you also get batteries inside, which I wasn't expecting. So there we are. The brand new Xbox controller and the batteries. And I believe that is everything in the box. Yes, that's it. So there we are. That is everything you get inside the Xbox One X box. So there we are. Now then let's unbox. Well, let's take the wrapping off the Series X. So we'll slide that lovely sleeve off. This is the Xbox Power Your Dreams sleeve. Tear the tape on the top here. Undo this tape down here. Flip it over. Undo the tape down there, and here we are. Whoops, that's actually stuck to the console. There we are. The Xbox Series X inside its packaging. Actually, not as big as I was expecting. Let's get rid of the um, the foam. And I am absolutely full of static now. So there we are. That is the um, the console. Not as big as I was expecting. We'll do a size comparison in a second. So we'll take a closer look. So we can see there we've got. The CD tray, the eject button, power button, USB slot, and the um, sync button for your controller. And on the back, we can see we've got HDMI out. That's the expansion card slot for the Microsoft dedicated expansion cards. Power, USB. Okay, so quick interruption. Just been editing the video here, and uh, stupid me. It's not a USB port, it's an Ethernet, you idiot. Anyway, back to the video. And two USB 3.0, I think they are. I'll have to double check. And that is everything that it boils down to. So you can see this is the orientation it's designed to be um, stood in. Unfortunately, with the way my room is set out, I won't be able to stand it like this. Mine is gonna have to stand on the feet on the side here. So mine is gonna look something like that. A black brick stood in my games room. Initial impressions and first thing I have seen with this, it's a fingerprint magnet. I really wasn't expecting this, but it really does attract fingerprints like there's no tomorrow. So unfortunately, um, it's going to look butt ugly after a few times it's been handled. 
So as I was saying, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare this to the size of the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. So there we can see a width comparison to the Xbox 360 versus the Xbox Series X. Width wise, not much difference. Obviously height wise, there's a hell of a lot of difference between this and this. Um, and if we just spin the console round, we can see obviously, yes, no shock there. There is a big difference. And here we have the lineup between the Xbox 360, the Series X and the Xbox One stood side by side for a comparison. And as you can see from the original press conferences, I was expecting this to be absolutely huge. But in comparison to the other consoles, it's actually not that big. So yeah, there we have a quick unboxing, quick look at the uh, Xbox Series X. So we have a quick look at the controller for the Xbox Series One X. As we can see, it's not a great deal different from the previous generation controller. A um, couple of main differences, we have the D-pad is no longer just the cross. We have the more um, elite style controller with the diagonals and it is very, very tactile, a lot of clicky buttons. We also have the share button just located in the center here um, for screen grab, recording and sharing and access your media. A couple of other things to note on the back. Hopefully we can pick it out. My grubby fingerprints have left a mark on this. So this looks like it's going to be another um, fingerprint magnet. But the texture on here is very, very nice. That's hopefully going to help during long sweaty game sessions so you don't lose grip of it. And we've also noticed that on the trigger buttons, just here, we have a textured feeling as well. And the trigger buttons feel pretty much the same as the original controller did. So not much difference there. So yeah. So there, like I said, I think Microsoft's stand on this is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think it's actually worked because it's quite a nice controller. So yeah, that is a quick look at unboxing the Xbox One Series X, what you get in the box, and uh, a quick look at the controller as well. Next job for me is to set this up and see how we migrate from the Xbox One over to the Xbox Series X, and from what I've read, it's a very, very simple and painless process. So do me a favor, if you enjoyed the video, please smack the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, but please leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought of the video, and if you can subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, it helps me out immensely. Until next time, take care.